In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated intro slide or title slide in PowerPoint and this slide can be used for a variety of purposes like a, a business template or an annual report or a brochure design or anything else which you feel better to use it in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added few images which I have downloaded from the net and I have put in the year 2021 and you can put your company logo here and this title you can replace with your own title and have added few detailed text with the icons again this is also editable you can just replace it and i have added one small animation to it and the trick i have explained in the powerpoint tutorial you can just watch my full tutorial to understand how it works so let me just show you when i click you can see here it started lighting up you can see a purple color and this is a small trick actually i did to, to make this one all right and i have made it one more slide where i have just removed this part and i have just put the business title in some different color combination so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i've used office 2019 for this uh, to develop this particular slide so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select uh, the right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline and you can give this one the height is 7.5 and this one the width i'm going to give maybe 8.3 and then just go to rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical so you can see here you can either increase or decrease the size so depending on this one maybe i can just give 8 point sorry 8 point 3 5 3 2 whatever so depending on your requirement you can just change it then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add few more triangles so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the this triangle draw the triangle you can see here so depending on my requirement i can increase the height or decrease the height you can see here but make sure that you got the equal spacing here and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to just bring it down and then I'm going to add few more by pressing Ctrl D to duplicate and then you can just go to again press Ctrl D to duplicate go to rotate and I'm going to make it flip vertical and just put both here you can see here it becomes one I'm going to select both press Ctrl G to group it and then I'm just going to paste it one here you can see here something like this so just adjust it you can see here there should be equal spacing so i'm just going to use my the key bat ctrl d to duplicate again and then i'm just going to add one more and again try to give the equal spacing here you can see something like this and if you want you can add few more here so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and for the time being i'm just going to give some different color and i'm going to put it here you can see here something like this all right then you can add some images here uh, the images uh, which i have downloaded from the unsplash.com you can use the same image for that what i can do is select this right mouse click go to format shape and here you can see the picture or texture fill i'm just going to click it here and by default this picture has come here for example even also i'm going to do the same picture will come here whatever i've used so let the picture be here so for this i'm going to choose some different images so go to insert click from a file and select the image which you need to download it so you can see here i have added the image which i have downloaded from unsplash.com and for this i can give some different color so depending on your choice you can just uh, give whatever the color you want and then here also i'm going to add one more uh, a square or a diamond shape so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and here I can give a solid fill, solid fill, any light color. And then I'm just going to hold the shift key, reduce the size. And then I'm just going to add it here, something like this. And then here I can go to insert and add the year 2021. Again, make it center align, make it white font. I'm going to use a font called Century Gothic, make it bold, increase the size and then just place it here all right so it looks something like this 
and then if you want you can just add one more for this first of all before adding you can just give some gradient fill you can see here i have used two stop one is the light and one is a darker color and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate go to format shape rotate i'm just going to make it flip horizontal and then flip vertical and exactly bring it here you can see here and i'm going to give only one color which is something some dark color something like this or any color of your choice which you can choose the color from all right so you can see here uh, our basic design is ready and then we can add some more uh, graphics or some text effects now i want to give some animation effect where it appears like the light on the empire building is switching on and off so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this press ctrl c to copy then right mouse click and i'm going to save this as an image you can see here something like this this is the image now go to the picture format and you can see remove background and what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark all, all areas to remove you can see here i'm just marking it all so just make sure that it's all pink you can see here or all right something is there yes and only you can see here only this area is now visible or if not you can just mark areas to keep and which area you need you can just add it something like this all right and then just click outside or just say keep changes so you can see here only this part is only remains then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to simply crop this you can see here i'm just cropping this one here now just select this go to picture format you can see here the color i can choose some this color you can see here and then i'm just going to put it exactly on top of this building so that it looks like that this the light is off you can see here something like this and then what i'm going to do now for this only i'm just going to make it the color the blink animation so let me just close this go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation go to more emphasis effects and just say blink and click ok and double click this timings you can make it medium or fast repeat until end of the slide and click ok now if i play the slide you can see here it looks something like this all right so this is just i've done like this you can do it more uh, easiest way or more beautiful way so you can just see here this color maybe is more darker again i can just go and then i can just make it the color maybe this one all right and then just paste it here so depending on the requirement if you want you can just make it a full building also a gray color here okay once this is done now it's time to add some text effects so go to insert text box and i'm going to add the headline here you can just put any headline of your choice again white font any good font of your choice make it bold increase the size and make it right align and i'm just going to put it here and here also you can add some subtitles and some more details to it so let me just show you how the slide looks you can see here when i click you know i have to just make it more let me just go here and have to just arrange it properly so that it should fit perfectly all right onto the empire state building all right so let me just move it here i think it's okay so let me just see how it looks now when i click yeah i think this is much more better so something like this you can think of doing more animations